Welcome to this week's final devotion taken from Romans 8, verse 38, on this Friday, December 4th, 2020. As we continue our look at treasures old and treasures new, uh, today looking at one of those new treasures, those uh, this passage is probably familiar to a lot of you, but not all of you. And it's one I think that that a lot of us should memorize and, and keep close to our hearts. Um, so this one's probably somewhere between a treasure old and treasure new. But regardless, it's, it's a great passage to, to sit down and, and, and think about, um, especially during times like this. Uh, my pleasure to be here with you today to dig into God's word, to, to see what it says, and, and, um, and to find comfort um, in, in how we live our lives uh, today in, in the world that we live in. Romans 8, verse 38 reads, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor rulers, neither things present nor things to come, nor powerful forces, and then if you would actually read on, um, no power in the sky or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. What a joy. What a joy to have passages in scripture like this. Life throws us curveballs. Something happens that you don't expect, that you weren't preparing for. I think a lot of us, many of us have gone through some of those curveballs, those experiences uh, just this past year. And some of those curveballs in life can really mess with our spiritual life, our, our soul, our faith in Christ. But this passage here, when you think about all the things in this world, when you think of everything that could tear you away from your God, when you think of those things that could put doubts and fears and anxieties in your mind and slowly lead you away from him, you can get bogged down, right? There's a lot out there. Think about what this passage says. The Apostle Paul writing to the Romans, he's convinced nothing, nothing can separate us from God's love. Not death, not life, not angels, not demons, not anything that's happening today or tomorrow, not the powers of hell, not the rulers, not authorities. Um, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Think about that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Why? Because God is all-powerful. He has everything under his control. Yes, even a world that seems to be in chaos. He has in his control. And he is working through that chaos and working through all things that are happening right now to bring about his good for his people. And we're talking about spiritual good. We're not necessarily talking about physical welfare, but we're talking about spiritual welfare. He is going to do what's best for you, for me, spiritually. We don't need to fear any of these things because God has already won the victory. The battle is won. Christ is victorious. And therefore, we do not need to be afraid. We do not need to fear. 
Because nothing, nothing can overcome God. Nothing can overtake God. So dear Christian friends, dig into that word. Hear the promises that God gives to you. Look to him. Establish those roots of faith in him. Because you have God's word that nothing will be able to separate you from him. And you also have his word that no matter what's happening in your life, no matter what's happening in the world, that God is using it for the eternal welfare, the spiritual welfare of his people. Why don't we go to God in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us such wonderful, rich gospel promises um, that you are always with us, that, that you have won the victory, and that victory is complete, and nothing, absolutely nothing, can overtake you. And nothing, absolutely nothing, because nothing can overtake you, that means absolutely nothing can overtake us. Because you are our refuge and strength. You are an ever-present help in trouble. Give us confidence in that victory. Give us confidence in your protection over us and our soul. We ask that you continue to slow the spread of the virus as you see fit. And also that you heal our country physically, emotionally, mentally, but most importantly, spiritually. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Certainly want to thank you for uh, watching today's devotion. Uh, we'll be back again soon uh, as we um, continue our look at treasures old and treasures new. Until then, God be with you until we meet again.